Hey there, Libra. Welcome to your Love Tarot reading for October 2022. This is a Halloween theme love reading, and it explores the potential for some tricks, treats, and some bewitching bumps in the night. So feel free to take with you whatever messages resonate and leave behind for others whatever does not. So Libra, in this first column, we uncover tricks of the heart you might not be see coming, be seeing coming, be seeing coming, be seeing coming, that you might not see coming. How about that? Okay, you have wild violet, self-actualization, individuality. You have Ace of Cups, Three of Wands, King of Swords. In this second column, we look at love treats and October's goodie bag. You have the veil, the future, Six of Pentacles, Two of Cups, and Justice, your Major Arcana card, in this third column, we look at the potential for Libra to experience magically delicious love bumps in the night. You have adjustments are required. Third quarter moon, you have the Empress, Five of Swords, and Five of Cups. Okay, so let me shuffle up these clarifying tarot cards here. Okay, Libra, so in terms of tricks of the heart that you might not be, why can't I say this? That you might not see coming in October with this wild violet self-actualization individuality. Um, it's an opportunity for you to kind of um, recognize that you have really a lot going for you in terms of your charm, your intellect, your um, ability to really accomplish what you want in life. Um, and so there's, it may be that you, the trick that you don't see coming is that you don't believe it. Sometimes you, you don't really grasp on to that aspect of yourself. Um, with the Ace of Cups here, there's a lot of love, emotions, um, you know, connections with others that are there for you to, um, to pursue. A lot of love for you to give. And here with this King of Swords energy, uh, your element air, it's doubled. Kings are associated with the element of air, and so are swords. So it's almost as if you have all this love and not sure what to do with it because you're going with a more logical approach and trying to maybe perfect that um, if-then dialogue within yourself. If I, if I do this, then I'm going to have to do that. And if I do that, then, then I might have to do this, or they might think that this. So it's, it's kind of puts you in a situation where, um, here you can see this three of wands. It usually indicates a sense of expanding and growing, but it's, it feels like here, um, that it, keeps you almost at a crossroads and knowing that you could just go in any direction. Um, so here, it's a sense of you need to just embrace that big old ace of cups. Let's see what we have there. We have the page of wands. So, you know, be a little bit flirtatious, break some rules. Um, and because you're the king of swords energies here, then um, you know what rules to break and not to break. You're very aware of that. Maybe bend some rules. How about that? Um, and kind of not be so um, in the air. The page pages here 
uh, in general are associated with the element of earth and the wands are associated with the element of fire. So there's like, it's totally airless there. Let's take a look at the three of wands. You've got the two of swords. So I was saying like that three of wands actually feels like the two of swords. So um, the difference is uh, here, it's, you know, these emotions here are, are something that um, are affecting this indecision. And to some degree, it's the emotions that's affecting the indecision, but it's more like, what do you do with it? What do you invest it in? So with the King of Swords, you have the Two of Pentacles. Again, this, this concept of if you do this, then that. But if you do that, then what if this? So it's kind of like this back and forth. So, um, yeah, the, the, the trick of the heart that Libra doesn't see coming is basically your indecision. But you know that you can be indecisive. I think what you don't see coming is that you absolutely can just go any direction. Um, and it can be exactly what you're looking for. So here with the veil, the future in terms of love treats and October's goodie bag for Libra, um, there's a sense of you having this opportunity to really be very close to your future, in fact, controlling it uh, and being able to um, kind of dictate what you want. So here with the Six of Pentacles, um, there's a sense of balancing your wants and your needs. You have the Two of Cups. So there is that um, potential for love connection. Perhaps there's already a love connection and there's more of you investing in that. Um, and with this Justice card here, it's a sense of, you know, knowing that balance requires harmony in terms of relationship. It requires partnerships, um, give and take, you know, kind of like the Six of Pentacles. Um, and also a sense of understanding, understanding cause and effect. And it's uh, you, what you do you're very aware of it, you're very intentional about it, and you understand that is because there is an effect. And again, that if then you with the King of Swords, you wanna you want to anticipate that. You tend to like to anticipate that or want to. So let's take a look at maybe <laughs> Maybe pentacles are inside October's goodie bag for you, Libra. Let's take a look at the six of pentacles here. You have the queen of cups. So again, all this love to give. Queens are associated with the element of water. So are cups. So we've got double air with the king of swords, double water with the queen of cups. So there is um, really... It's a sense of if you invest a lot more um, emotionally in terms of your time, your resources, your heart into um, the relationships that you care about, then you will get out of it uh, that much, you know, love, time, attention, and return. Let's see about the Two of Cups. You've got the Knight of Pentacles. So the Knight of pentacles those are the like the slowest moving nights um and they're very intentional about their next steps they also enjoy being in the present and experience um experience life because they can see how their plan is being you know they're they're sowing their seeds and they're seeing how their plans are coming to fruition and here um it's a sense of you perhaps needing to be a little bit more practical when it comes to 
love connections, perhaps going for someone who is, um, you know, Libra, it seems you're practical, so someone who is also practical is a good balance for partnerships. So let's take a look at the Justice card. You have the Queen of Swords, which is um, kind of an, another version of the Justice card, um, a minor arcana version, and court card version. So, but the, the Queen of Swords, that is the perfect combination of um, water for queens and air for swords. So that here, that approach of being more reasonable, having your heart and mind, um, like a balanced heart and mind in approaching your future, approaching um, opportunities that are coming your way. So let's see here in terms of your potential for love bumps in the night with the adjustments are required. You have the Empress, the Five of Swords, and the Five of Cups. So here, again, that um, that concept of uh, changing things a little bit where perhaps too much thought is involved, but here maybe too much emotion can also be involved as well. So having this this concept of just abundance of everything where you can pick and choose and knowing that you, you don't have to have the perfect anything. It doesn't have to be the perfect balance of anything. Um, it's all about the journey. It's all about recognizing that um, connections are really, are really um, what you put into it. And here with this Empress card, the ruling planet for the Empress is Venus, which is, or the Venus associated with the Empress card, and that is Libra's ruling planet. So it's just a sense of a reminders that partnerships are really important to you. And you can, you can say that they're not, you can say that you're fine being alone, but, um, those kind of attitudes here um, kind of this gives you that five of swords feel of like uh, a false sense of victory and the five of cups feel of being in the sadness. So um, there's some type of adjustment that you need to make in terms of what is it that you want, what is it that you are um, avoiding? What is it that you want people to see you as and why? And um, and also just to, to recognize that um, everyone is working on themselves in some way, shape, or form to a certain degree. And, and it's always, it is always a, a constant, you, you don't know what's going to happen, but knowing that, well, kind of like seeing, not seeing, knowing that there is potentially that um, perfect connection for you down the line is going to help you to um, overcome these, these hiccups, you know, knight of, knight of pentacles and two of cups, that's something where you're looking at your long-term outcome, your best and highest good, and, um, really come from a place of your, your heart. And with the five of swords, it's more of ego. With the five of cups, it's more of not even wanting to see your environment not even see around you. Let's take a look at the Empress here. You have the Nine of Swords. So anxiety, stress, trying to make the right choice, the perfect choice, thinking that you even have to make a choice. 
um, that's something that, you know, recognizing you don't have to make a choice, that there is really no perfect choice. There's also no imperfect choice. Let's take a look at the Five of Swords. You have the Four of Swords. So perhaps some time to yourself, um, meditation, quiet time, withdraw from um, whatever drama, uh, conflict, chaos is going on around you, even if it's just for the an afternoon nap or for the weekend. Let's take a look at the Five of Cups. You have the Two of Wands. So again, uh, another concept of making a choice, making a decision of getting outside of your your comfort zone. And your comfort zone may be to reason, analyze, overanalyze so that so that you're not hurt, maybe, but maybe it's because you're trying to avoid something that you've already experienced and you have to take a look at um, what that was before you can move on to something new. So Libra, I'm gonna pull one last card, or a card here for, for a message from your higher self to let you know about any love tingling, love tingling, spine tingling love connections. Wow, Libra. I'm not being perfect, but that is on purpose so I can show you that you don't have to make, there is no right decision. There's no perfect decision. There's no imperfect decision. Everyone is just being to the extent that they can. So here, lurking in the shadows, love connections lurking in the shadows, it says slow down. Slow down, take a rest, and um, calm your mind. Recognize that um, you have this big ace of cups there and um, perhaps allow yourself to um, be curious, experiment a little, and bend, bend some rules. So I'm hoping this reading provides a helpful perspective of love for you in October, and we'll see you next time. Take care.